welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're with me today. My name is Lacey and this is my fall home tour. If you have not subscribed to me, go ahead and do that so that you can see all the rest of the stuff that I have planned for this season. We got big things coming, but let's get into this fall home tour. So as most of you guys know, I live in a tiny house and this is a realistic fall home tour, okay? So I have not super cleaned, I have not made sure everything is perfect, the cat is still out and about enjoying herself. But I wanna show you guys how we have transitioned from that transitional blue decor into our very traditional orange and red, those gorgeous fall colors we always think about. So this is the first area when you walk into my house. These are my front doors, they are barn doors. So I have these painted like a kind of dusty, almost navy blue. It's a little less blue than what my camera picks up. Um, but the first place that you see when you walk in those doors is my little desk area. This is a working desk. I paint on it. I use it all the time. Um, and there are my pink Crocs, of course. I told you this is lived in, guys. This is how I live. But we created in one of my previous videos this beautiful floral blooming lamp. Now I did take the fairy lights off of this because I wanted to use them somewhere else. <laughs> but this is absolutely so gorgeous and ties in perfectly with this at the other end. This is a Walmart pumpkin and my camera might be picking up a little too much of that outside light. I'm sorry. Um, and this is a lighted pumpkin DIY that we made together. Again, really, really easy to do. If you go and check, it's a couple of videos back. Um, but I love the way this looks. So blue is the color in my house that I have. So obviously the doors. And then I have this velvet chair. It is so comfortable. I believe it was bought off of Lowe's. Then when you come back this way, I have my buffet mantle so this is like my entertainment center this is a buffet that we purchased from ashley furniture several years back it's a very popular piece i see it all of the time and i love it it holds every one of our dvds um and then in this side i have all of my craft supplies so it's really large and it's awesome um all we had to do was cut a hole in the back for wires to go out um, but on top, we created this beautiful spray. And as you can see, it has changed a little bit from the first of the year when we were first putting this stuff together. So I added in these tiny pumpkins and I took out anything that was blue. So anything blue has now gone and it's gone back into the box. These are a like flameless flickering, so that's not real. So I can leave those on all the time and they have a timer. Um, let's see, I added in these red berries to give more of a touch of fall there. I added in a couple of these little faux mushrooms that you can buy at Dollar Tree. They come in like a, two, a three pack for $1.25. I added in some more of this orange foliage, a little bit of that. So you can see where we added in, we took out the blue and then wherever we took out blue, we added in red and orange and these little colored pumpkins. And I really think that this turned out so beautiful. It is such a focal point when you walk into my home. I really love it. And then of course my little heater this thing actually does put out plenty of heat if it gets below about freezing then we actually do have to plug in a real heater but this was a great buy um, if you have a small space um, it definitely heats this main area anywhere where there's a door and there's like not open airflow then that's a little bit it's a little tougher that way over here is my closet. <laughs> it's an armoire that I purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. I think I got it for $80. And when I looked it up, it's like a vintage piece, um, like a designer made piece from the 80s. Um, and it is so gorgeous, but it's about $1,800 if you buy it um, new. So it was such a steal off the Facebook Marketplace. Um, this is something that I've changed. So I created this 
blanket hanging system. I needed somewhere to put blankets that wasn't going to sit on the floor because let me pan down here. You can see, you know, the floor space, this is 400 square feet. I don't know if you guys understand that, you know, about a tiny house. So I have to have enough space to get around comfortably. And so, you know, you can see I'm like, I'm walking comfortable. Um, and you can get around. My grandparents get around in here and they're a little, um, um, <clears throat> less ambulatory but anyways they it's 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 a really really fantastic space but I don't want to take up any extra floor space so here's what this looks like it is a hanging shelf that I used to use in a different area of the house but I had since had to put it away because I changed it up so I pulled it back out and I'm now hanging my blankies so these are the ones that i bought off of timu and they were super cheap and they're fantastic little lap blankets and then this is a, a 31 and it actually has my name on it i really love that uh, my sister-in-law gave it to me for christmas and then this is a wreath we created again in that diy video from a couple videos back so if you love this this is a knockoff of a more high-end brand and we did it for very very inexpensive this picture is a picture that I had bought at Dollar General. I believe they still sell it there. Um, in most Dollar Generals that I've been, I've seen it. But I added in some fall foliage, so this didn't have all this. It was kind of shadowy looking. So I added in some fall colors. I added this owl because I love owls for the fall. I love the fall creatures. And then I threw in these kind of like funky shaped pumpkins down at the base of the trees to really give that a fall feel and to fill this space out. Um, and I really loved the way this turned out. So there's the blankets and then all the decor on top. And I plan to change this out seasonally. Moving this way. So if we look back, this is the couch. So <laughs> that's my catalog. But this is the couch. I still have my blue, right? Because my house is blue. I can't really change too much of that. But I added in this fall pillow and it really 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 makes the difference it's very neutral but then it has that gorgeous illustration of the fresh picked sunflowers in the center i really love the colors there and then behind it is my island so they kind of butt up next to each other let me take you this way so you can see so this is on the other side and i have my little fall hand towels which need to be <laughs> fixed a little there isn't this one gorgeous? My aunt bought that for me um, in when we went to visit, and I believe it was bought at Ross or TJ Maxx. But this glitter is fantastic because it doesn't go anywhere. Like, look at my thumb. It's totally clean. That is, like, that's beautiful and fantastic. I love this towel. Um, the other towel underneath was bought at Ross. So pretty. Over here, this is my shelving system. This holds all the things that don't really have a house. So we do have a window unit here, but let me try to move this um, curtain back a little bit so you guys can see. There we go. So on the bottom, I have my printer. This was something that really bothered me that it didn't have a home. It needed a space because I need to use this. So I can't really not use it. So this is a shoe box right here. It's a big wicker basket that I use to hold all of our excess shoes, the shoes that we don't really need every day, um, but that I can't get rid of because I will need them. So those all are housed there. Then the printer. Right here, my husband loves fish. So we went ahead and got him this fish tank last year. We never were able to find the right spot for it. And so it was taken down. And so this year I said, why don't we build something here in this space? It used to be a chest freezer. Um, I've since moved the chest freezer outside. And now we have ability to put all this stuff down. So this little Hobby Lobby grain silo actually holds all of the fish food and supplies. Um, on the next shelf, I have just a little bit of decor and my microwave. Again, it's a place for things. Like this is the place to put things. On top, I have my books. I turned them around so they would be more neutral and a little bit more decor. So I really love that this shelving system is so useful, but also a really fun place to put decor. And then I always keep these copper pans on the wall. I just love them. I actually collect 
tons and tons of copper pans and I usually change them out for the seasons but I, I really liked these fish so I just kept the fish. I thought they were funny next to the aquarium. <laughs> so those didn't get changed out this season and on this side I have my kitchen. So my kitchen is all along this wall and you can see so I have this tall pantry tower. I have my refrigerator on the other end with some more storage on top. Then I have the two and then these. So all along the bottom, except for where the stove is, is also cabinetry and the island is amazing cabinetry. So we actually did change one thing in this space um, and that is we added in a window. So this was built a, as a shed and then we turned it into a home. So there is not a lot of windows in here. Um, but I really love a window over the sink. So I asked my husband if we could do that and he went out and found me a small window and put that in there. Um, so isn't that fantastic? It actually still has the sticker because it hasn't been up very long, but I need like a razor blade um, to get that off. But let's check out what we did for our fall decorating, right? So I have this soap that hasn't changed. My beautiful Keurig that I got. The only thing that's kind of changed in this space is I'm using this to hold my K-Pods. I got this match holder at a rummage sale and I bought this little Happy Harvest stirring spoon for my coffee, which I love. And it just really adds a lot of fall without it being fall, um, like totally fall or like a lot of florals. Um, I also, up here, added in this Dollar Tree blessed little charcuterie board and I put up these little orange pumpkins just like in a row and I really love the way that look it's subtle but it also has a big impact and then down here of course I have all of my salt and pepper shakers and I really love this uh, very useful spice rack it's like mounted on the fridge um, and it holds the paper towels so the paper towels don't have to be on the counter um, above the fridge, I have this floral arrangement that we created in the first fall video. So go and check that out if you like this. It's super, super simple. And then I just added another little floral arrangement next to it to really add a pop of that orangey, mustardy color. Really, really love it. Over here on the island, I have my absolute favorite fall piece. Let me put away this lighter. <laughs> this is my very favorite fall piece. It is this beautiful pie plate. Look at this, isn't it gorgeous? The green apples and the fall leaves as the crust. I mean, you can't beat it. It's just fantastic. In the bathroom, not much has changed, but I will show you. Let's see, so here's what my bathroom looks like. It's a small space, but it also holds our washer and dryer combo, so that's why it seems a little small. It's actually pretty darn spacious. <laughs> I have this large pantry, and this is where I keep all of the linens and everything. Got this, so on the back of the toilet, I have this wicker pumpkin, and that's holding extra toilet paper. I have an entire roll of toilet paper in there. <laughs> And then over here is where I have my decor. It's really just centered to this, this space. So uh, I actually unplugged this, but let me plug it back in for you guys so you can see. I love this little lamp. I found this in the Goodwill bins. And it is so gorgeous. It has these fall colored roses on it. And so I just created a little blooming effect underneath. And then I have a candle in here that wouldn't normally be in here, but I just wanted it to smell good this morning. So that's not normally there, so just imagine. <laughs> um, but this is what I have here. Sometimes I put little jewelry or trinkets in there, whatever I take off. Um, and that's matching the one on the back of the commode. And then I have my soaps and this little, um, actually, I think it's like a pitcher. And I bought it from Walmart, Walmart. And it comes in several colors, but I bought the cream and I really like the way that looks there. I feel like it just really fills that space out. Coming back into here, I'm going to show you my bedroom. It actually doesn't have any fall, but let me turn on this light. 
But what I really like is that we got a queen size bed. Check this out. Hold on. It's not focused. There we go. Okay. So in my bedroom, we got a queen size bed. So I can now walk on my side of the bed, which is so fantastic and so exciting. And so I put up some more family photos. That is just a tobacco basket that I put Polaroids and snapshots in. And then I added a couple of things on either side. I just threw it up there. So it's not really centered or anything yet. Um, but I did create this little fake curtain out of some fabric that I had. And so I really like the way this bed looks. It was bought off Amazon and it is so gorgeous. And I just bought a very simple, um, I have navy sheets to match my blue in my house. I have this very simple coverlet, um, and, uh, just a white bed skirt. And I really think that it is so farmhouse and so beautiful and when you walk in everything ties together and nothing looks really out of place or like it really needs to change um some things that i'm still planning on doing in this house is i'm gonna actually put a curtain across here so that it will cover up my husband's closet that we built for him there and then i'm gonna get a real a real curtain with a real curtain rod and it's probably gonna go from ceiling to floor in here as well um and this you this box I hate it, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm just going to paint it white and it's going to blend into the wall and I'm not even going to notice it. So <laughs> that's fine. But yeah, so this is the full fall um, home tour. I hope you really liked it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was and what you would change and do in your own home. Oh, look. So I got that little pumpkin sign up here from Hobby Lobby and I put it right above the door. So I took down my scrolly piece of artwork and I put that over there because I really like the way that looks. Um, they have that in a more fall traditional color too if you don't like the white and gray. But this is the whole house. And like I said, this is lived in, you know, we, it's just my husband and I, so this might not be as lived in as maybe somebody else's house is. But for us, this is very lived in. And I'm just really happy with it. I feel like the tiny house is starting to come together and it's really starting to be what I was hoping for and envisioning uh, all those years ago when I thought I would love to live in a tiny house. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am so excited for this fall, and I'm ready to work into Christmas. I know it's a little early, but I'm already getting excited. In the next video, I'll actually be doing a little bit of a haul of some Christmas items, some very early Christmas items, and I'm going to talk to you guys all about what I'm planning and what my theme is for this year because I am so excited. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe. That helps me out so, so much. Um, and don't forget to share this video if you think other people will like it. And if you know anybody with a tiny house, hey, I am all about that tiny life. <laughs> all right, guys, have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.